Hi guys, this video is a site to site VPN configuration on the Palo Alto firewalls. And the slide in front, the diagram in front, this is my site to site VPN diagram. And on the left, I have my home network, whereas on the right, it's my Azure cloud services and networks. I'll be creating a VPN connection between. So it will be between the Azure VPN gateway and the Palo Alto PA220 device I have at home. The things I'll need are my public IP addresses on both sides. I'll be connecting to to create the VPN tunnel. I'll also need the subnets that will be routable via the encrypted tunnel. And my pre-shared key as well, which will be the same on both sides. The pre-shared key is like a password. It's a key both peers use to identify themselves to each other for authentication purposes. And before we get into the demo, the things we need to do are the very first step. I usually ping the public IP addresses of both sides to ensure there's connectivity. And this is just to confirm reachability exists before we start creating the VPN tunnels. However, for Azure, this isn't possible. They don't allow ICMP packets to prevent any attacks such as DDoS attacks. So I won't be doing this step. But typically, when you've got two VPN devices end to end, you just ping the public IP addresses to make sure basic connectivity is there. Layer 3 connectivity exists. And next, we need to create the tunnel interface, which we would use later to assign it to our IPsec tunnel configuration and to point any routes to it that need to go over the tunnel. Then we create an IKEA gateway, which stands for Internet Key Exchange. Here we define the local and remote IP addresses, the IKEA mode, pre-shared key, the IPsec algorithms for authentication purposes and encryption, and a few other things as well. And moving on after that, after the IKE gateway has been created, we create an IPsec tunnel. And this stands for Internet Protocol Security, which is a framework consisting of protocols and algorithms for protecting data through an untrusted network such as the Internet. So this is the IPsec tunnel. It's a secure tunnel, which is basically protection of IP traffic at a network layer. And after we create the IPsec tunnel, we need to configure routing to be able to reach the other subnets, the subnets on the other side using the tunnel interface we had created in step two. And the final part is step six. And with step six, we just confirm the VPN is up and running. And optionally, you can test traffic over it as well. So next, what I'll do, I'll now jump onto the Palo Alto firewall and configure these settings. And I'm now on the dashboard of my Palo Alto firewall. And the first step we need to do is create a tunnel interface. So we need to go to networks here. And then from networks, we need to go to interfaces, which we are already on. And then we need to go to tunnel. And then we will click on add at the bottom here to create a tunnel. We can give it an ID. So 129999, I will give it 10. You can give it whatever you want. You can add a comment in as well here. For virtual routers, I will stick to my default virtual router of default. And then we need to specify security zone. I can create a new one by clicking new zone. Let's call this IPsec. I can add an interface into it. So let's go with the Internet 16 from here. And then we can click OK. And click OK again. And the next step is to add an IKEA gateway. So we do this from networks again, and we go to network profiles, which is here. And then we click on IKEA gateway from here. Next, we just click on add again at the bottom and give it a name. Let's call it Azure underscore IKEA. We'll configure it as IKEA version two preferred mode. So let's select the bottom one here. The address tap will be IP version 4 and then interface we will select the interface the public facing interface that will be connected to that will create this IPsec tunnel to Azure over so we will select Ethernet 16 and for local IP address this would be the local public IP address so the public address assigned to the external interface of the Palo Alto firewall or if you're using NAT, as in my case, whatever the IP address of the external interface will be, as I'll be using NAT to forward traffic to the Palo Alto firewall from my home internet router. So we can select that from here. And my peer IP address type will be IP. And then we need to specify the peer address. And this will be the public IP address of the Azure VPN gateway. So we just select new here. And if you don't have this, you can get this from the Azure Network Gateway Dashboard, so you can get it from there. Let's give it an IP address. I'll call it Azure Public IP. 
and then I can give it a description as your VPN IP and then we specify the IP address we've specified the IP address next we just need to click OK here and for authentication it will be pre-shared key I just need to get my pre-shared key and paste it in so again I've configured as you already so I just need to copy the same key as I've used in Azure and paste it in here because they need to be the same on both sides and we don't need any of these options here so we can leave these blank but if we go to advanced options and have a look in here I need to enable NAT traversal since I'm behind a, a NAT router but we can uh, leave this uh, unchecked enable passive mode we don't need to do anything with that we're using iKey version 2 and we can leave the iKey crypto profile as default but a new crypto profile can be defined to match the iKey crypto settings defined within the Azure VPN gateway and that's if it's needed cryptos are configured within network profiles down here so you can see iKey crypto here if I click on OK here we can have a look at it and if we go to iKey crypto just for reference and information purposes just to see what's inside the default if I click on default we can see that the Diffie Hellman group is group 2, the encryption is using these ones here, we can see the authentication is using SHA-1. They look a little bit weak, especially with triple DES here, even SHA-1, so yeah, you can um, adjust them as needed. You can click on add here, you can uh, put in more higher Diffie Hellman groups here, click on add here and you can put SHA-256 or SHA-512 from here, encryption. Again, we can go for an AES-256 as well here. So you can uh, improve the posture of the uh, security of the crypto profile here as well. So let's click cancel here and stick to the defaults. And we will configure the next part, which is the IPsec tunnel. And we can do this from networks, IPsec tunnel. So it should be here, IPsec tunnels. Click on IPsec tunnel, click on add. Let's give it a name as your hyphen IPsec hyphen tunnel and then we need to select the tunnel interface we created in the first step so mine was tunnel.10 let's create that let's select that the type will be auto key and the address type will be IP version 4 and for iKey gateway we just need to select the iKey gateway we just created so we called it as your iKey let's click that and again IPsec crypto profile we'll select the we'll stick with the default here and click OK and if you wanted to check the IPsec crypto we can do that from here on the left hand side we can see IPsec crypto and here's the iKey crypto as well so both options are here So here's the, the options for IPsec crypto as well. Again, you can click on add, you can click on add here, you can see all the settings in here. So let's click cancel and stick with the defaults. And the last part of the configuration is to configure the routing. So we need to go to the virtual router, which is right here within networks, virtual routers. And we need to choose the default virtual router because that's the one we are using. And we need to add a static route for the remote network. So if we go to static routes here, and we will click on add and let's give it a name let's call it azure hyphen subnet and then let's give it a destination address 10.2.1.0 slash 24 and this is the key bit for interface we want to select the tunnel so it will be tunnel.10 here and that's it, it's done and we can change the next hop ip address to none everything's going over the tunnel for this destination net mask let's click OK and while we're here let's add a default route as well default route and then destination will be a catch-all my IP address for the default route will be 192.168.0.1 that's it that's done so let's click OK again and finally let's click OK here we've done our virtual router routing settings we've configured them one more thing I've noticed is that Ethernet 6 is missing from here 1 slash 6 so let me go back into the virtual router and let me add Ethernet 1 6 let's click OK here now with all that done let's commit changes 
and the configuration has been committed successfully but this is the second time I've had to commit the changes the first time off the video without recording uh, the tunnel would not come up so I had to make some changes first of all I've changed the IP address of Ethernet 1 slash 6 because it was in the wrong subnet and then in IKEA gateways I updated the pre-shared key in case that was wrong I also added the local and peer identifications here so I did the addresses here so I made those changes in advanced options I kept everything the same here and also in IPsec crypto here if we go to the default I changed the lifetime to seconds to 27,000 so this matches exactly as how it is in Azure even though technically speaking 8 hours is 27,000 seconds I just made the change just to make sure it's uh, that's not causing any issues I don't think it would cause any issues anyway but yeah just to keep everything exactly the same and going into IKEA crypto as well just in case I made any changes in here I don't think I did but let's have a look now in here everything I kept the same so the times are the same I could have changed this as well actually to seconds as well so this just proves it probably doesn't make a difference but yeah so I changed it anyway and then if we go to IPsec tunnels we can confirm here that the tunnel is up and running so we can see it was always stuck in red for whilst I was making the changes and now it's green the status is green here and the IKEA info as well the status is green here you can uh, click on these just to check more information out you can see everything in here the name gateway role mode the algorithms used uh, created and expired let's close that and there's some information in here as well and there you go so uh, yeah that's it that's job done and actually just before I finish if we go to if I get my other browser in here and if we go to virtual network gateways this is my Microsoft Azure setup this is my portal so if we go to Azure site to site VPN and then we go to connections here and we can see the status has changed to connected you can click in this and see more details here so on the right hand side I can see my virtual network gateway and the IP address I can see the remote end as well which is called the local network gateway and the IP addresses here and then finally the status as connected great stuff thanks for watching guys